And the small little Doomlings start threatening Jerex. They are adorable, but they're so scary. Air Tiny just now hitting 27 CS. Not the position they really hope to be with this cute little pull that they were doing earlier on. Looks like they might try and fight this one. Highlight Eye has Curl's the level two glimpse. glimpse. Will be able to get Curl. They have the tether out, but it looks like it's just not gonna be fast enough to answer roll through the meatball, which ends in his demise. Now Matumba Man takes a little bit of extra damage off the top as Misery pushes him out. So a Tiny and Wisp are currently clearing through some hard camp stacks. Misery, oh, he's almost got the courier, but it speeds away. They hope to be able to get the turn around. The avalanche is just a bit too late, though. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Mind Control drops out the Ravage. They have the TPs in. Maybe they can get Eternal Uppy here as Jarek's able to offer the control. They have a Catamore down as well. Vada joins forces. He needs to be able to drop the ultimate. Oh, no! It's not enough! Help. Mid lane, Weeha gets off the... Oh, he's got a Soul Ring TP. They know where he is, and it doesn't even matter as no. Eternal Envy laughs in their face. Both large cooldown ultimates dropped. Maybe Puppy is going to tank the uh, relocate instead. He's got so much HP though. 1200, plus he's got backup. I think Secret know what's going to be happening here. He gets off the Scorch Earth. It's going to be a tough kill to hit, especially with Eternal Envy here. They're going to throw out the combination. They do successfully kill, but a Static Storm is going to be able to control on the top of it. He has nothing left, but Eternal Envy is exposed. He's been hexed up and will be taken out by Fada. Next up, Pylai die, but he's going to join Force and Misery. The reload came back, actually saves Kuro, but now they get the clips back. But Kuro's still alive. Misery's fighting up against Fada, but he can't quite get that kill either. The Sunstrike misses. And Team Secret, I don't know if they had that planned out, but the, all the plans in the world doesn't stop Liquid from taking that fight. Liquid were hope, hope, hoping that somebody walks through there. They're gonna look for mid. Matumba Man's the target. They're gonna try and glimpse him back. Kuro, he's gonna go for the relocate save, but it's not in time. And now Kuro, he may be sacrificed as well as Secret are just gonna surround this tier one tower. He needs to be able to get a tether target. My control's making his way over for that one. Tether out. Oh, the cold snap's making it too hard for him to be able to get away. The mech comes through, but it's still not enough. The damage from Eternal Envy just pops a squishy wisp, and Secret will rotate from that, taking a Tier 1 tower objective straight into the Roshan pit. Secret have just won back everything they lost earlier, if they can take Roshan. But at the time, Fada is being scattered out deep inside the Roshan jungle by Eternal Envy. This is not the place to be, Fada. He's going to need to... Uh, save himself somehow with his OD. Oh, nobody's control, nearby enough. He can run in with a Ravage, but he knows. He backs out immediately. He's like, nope, that is not the play. There's no way they can save Vada. He's just in a bad position correctly. Oh, Envy's thinking about it. Kind of worried that this might be a trap, but... I mean, he probably three shots, hits? Kuro. Yeah. Maybe not even four. You're right. With the medallion. He's only got two armor. Everybody making their way yeah, over, They're going to make their way over. One, two, three. It is going to be enough. Matumba Man's now on his way glimpse. up, but he's going to be glimpsed back. They have the Static Storm plus the control for the Cold Snap. Holy cow, that minus armor from Forge Spirits plus Desolator makes short work of both the Tiny and the Wisp. Secret are just going to get the numbers advantage too quickly in the fights. The Doom will take one hero out, the Clinks will take the other two out. Oh, Fada is so desperate to try and force this fight. He's going to start charging forward. They have the relocate coming in. They're going to try and blow a puppy before the Doom gets laid out, but it's already put on the curl. They get the glimpse back, and oh, oh my god, the top of that's already gone. They have the second life coming in, but Eternal Levy's just dripping Liquid apart. They get the fling back from the OD. He looks like he will escape, but my control is not going to be as lucky. They still have a glimpse up in two more seconds, but that may not even be required as we, as well as Misery, jump themselves forward to make sure Mind Control has no hopes of escaping. Once again, a double damage on Eternal Envy, right as Liquid are going into the jungle. Eternal Envy's gonna be scattered out, they're gonna try and blow him up, the quick Ravage, they, they might be able to do something, he's so tanky, and now the Static Storm! It disrupts everything that Liquid are hoping to achieve. They still manage to kill the Clinks, but it isn't going to be worth it, the fight looks nasty, his Kuro's already gonna be blown up. He managed to get the Ghost Scepter up for a time being, Mind Control is gonna go on to Misery, and looks like they should be able to get that kill as an Anchor Smash finish him off, but they're sandwiched in, Wait on the right side, popping and Pylai die on the left with an Ice Wall, making sure they go Nowhere in this one, Matumba Man can't even finish off Puppy. Puppy doesn't even die for this one. So an Aegis for uh, Weeha, it looks like this time around. It's a bad sign that 33 minutes into the game, the top two cores of Team Secret, neither one of them want to drop their items as they're both kind of six slotted.
Yeah, and right now at Fada at top, he's going to get gone on too as Puppy is going to sandwich him. A blink back, TP he's away. Puppy doom. needs to be able to get the Doom off, and he will be able to. Fada stopped, and Eternal Abbey makes sure he stays down. Oh, Kuro, Kuro came in to try to help. Fortunately, not the play, as it just adds one more death to Team Secret's Rampage as they're going to go through the top lane. Fada, Eternal is he going to stick around too long? Oh, he actually gets a blink backwards, but the Blintz tries to send it back. They do have the BKB, and Liquid will march back as a three-man crew. Jerix, he's actually going to be targeted. Has to go step two turns around, hits the Hex on to Puppy. Now the turn around the Ravage, but can they actually take this fight? They're going to go for the blow-up on Puppy first. They do get it with the OT Ultimate, but the Static Storm, not enough to control on Fada. They're protecting Eternal Envy as Weeha comes forward with Deafening Blast that helps finish off Jerix. He wants to be able to chase down the rest of these heroes as well. Unfortunately, Mind Control is stuck fighting up against Eternal Envy, who's quite low. But Tumba Man, one swing isn't quite enough to toss forward. He gets him in the end. That's a big kill. But Matumba Man, he still has that Aegis. Team Secret will not turn and fight him. Mid lane, Eternal Envy. He's actually going to start with a Diffuser Blade on a Matumba Man. They're going to go for the relocate out, which will be successful. But something has been used. Still, though, Mike Control being controlled up right now by Puppy with a Doom. They're also going to be joined by Misery, who can right click down Jerix. And Mike Control stuck inside the trees will also fall. They're going to be able to get Kuro next up. Yule Scepter, Meteor, Deafening Blast with the Static Storm over the top. Feels like overkill, but they've taken three of Liquid, so why the hell not? I mean, something so beautiful about Secret's lineup is that with both the Static Storm and the Doom, they have ways to permanently stop the Tide. Like, even the Kraken Shell can't really do much against either of those abilities. But Tumba Man still got his BKB. He's hoping to be able to actually get on top of Eternal Envy as best he can. The cleave damage oh, doing do okay, so much damage to him. he's actually tanking too much. The OD actually drops the ultimate into the bottom lane. Going for Puppy will be able to get that one kill. But Tumba Man is being controlled up, though. They have the Yule Scepter into the Sun Strike. He gets off the double stun. OD needs to help out with this with the imprisonment save. You're just in one heal. Eternal Envy, 48 feet. That's how many blasts takes out the OD and Eternal Envy stays alive. They Ages. played that so well. Eternal Eternal Envy might go down, but Toss. he gets the Ghost Walk oh, off. Oh no, they have to go for Weeha instead, but they can't even get that much. Everyone from Secret surviving on just a sliver of HP. Yolner now finished up for the Furion. Puppies cutting across here, going for Matumba Man. They have Kuro sitting on the side, ready to go with the relocate, but Puppy's actually going to try and stop that one. He managed to get the Doom onto Mind Control, while Kuro can't actually go for a relocate anywhere with BKB used on Matumba Man. That's how Weeha's going to be able to strike. Mind Control's dead, as the Doom should be able to finish him off, but Puppy goes way forward and will be the turnaround kill. Still, though, they got a two for one. Misery's heading down bottom two, and it looks like Envy is also trying to join him. They just BKB. The they range tracks available. Vada. Oh, Eternal Envy's being controlled up. They need to be able to pop their BKBs to be able to drop Eternal Envy. Looks like Jackie should go down, but the Matumba Man might be the turnaround kills. That Meteor is causing him so much havoc. Team Secret are not being controlled up as Weeha's BKB lasts long enough for him to be able to get away. Vada jumps forward, going for Pylon Die next. We'll be able to just right click him down while Weeha dances and dances as Misery is taking the melee racks. This has to be Fada controlling up these two heroes, but he just can't do it. He doesn't have the HP points, and Team Liquid do not have the buybacks to be able to support this one. Fada, the only one ready to go with the Wisp and the Tidehunter. He actually catches Misery here, but Weeha with a defensive Yule Scepter into the Ice Wall once again. Fada managed to get the Imprisonment. Jerex is coming forward, but he's already dropped so low from just extra damage. A deafening blast finish him off. Weeha says, what's up? Controls one, gets oh, the other one, but Fada's just going to be dying to the Sun Strike. Weeha's just styling on them. The Imprisonment save from Fada, but a tornado hits at the perfect time into the EMP. Weeha is feeling himself as oh, he's, he's going to single-handedly win this game number three for Team Secret. Unbelievable performance by Weeha as he is showing off on the main stage here in this Grand Finals. 14-0 and 11 is the end score for him, but I'm even more impressed by how much Envy was able to accomplish in the way of map control. The amount of farm that he was able to get in the early game just made it so hard for Liquid to ever leave their base. A game like this, as well as game one, just makes Team Secret look like a juggernaut that is unstoppable, but Team Liquid, they have to take game number four and game number five if they hope to be able to come out on top in this series. A hard ask, but that's something for our analysts to break down whether or not it's possible. Hey, Sindarin, yeah. is uh, Secret going to be your Shanghai Major Okay, just to, just to expand very quickly, I think this is the biggest outdraft of the finals. In the series, yes. Yep. Agreed. Secret is going to okay. be the champion. E.E. E. Sama, no mercy signs everywhere. Uh, he's not having any right now. 
typically with uh, Eternal Envy, you almost always have one of those performances where you're just like, no, but in this <laughs> Grand Finals, he's really showed up. I haven't yeah. seen that once. He's been so consistent.